are officially on the road for a uh, thousand plus mile road trip over the next few days. Um, we are going to do physical site visits for College Station and Houston, two of the new stores uh, that are coming live the soonest. Um, and we're just getting kind of down to the wire where we need to iron out the details, make sure that everything is as the plans say they are, everything is ready to go, and everybody's on the same page before we start construction. So obviously, it makes everybody's life a lot easier and uh, saves us a lot of money. So, we are <laughs> on the road. I am a little more chipper than KK this morning. I decided to wake up at 4.30 and go to the gym, so. I did not, because I'm not crazy. <laughs> of the way to college station college station all right i'm gonna eat now how are we doing amazing amazing honestly leaving early in the morning is great because oh, i have the best. worked the whole time and i feel like it's gone by so fast like the fact that we're already in dallas is wild to me yeah for road trips, early morning wake up call and just get it knocked out before the sun's even up. That's the way. That is the way. All right, welcome back to our uh, day in the car. We are finally almost to College Station. I think we're like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away from being in College Station. Uh, that's the location that we're going to first. Um, sorry if this road is bumpy. And what everything is looking like. Goodbye. We made it. And we've actually changed our business models via $1.79 yeah. cleaners. $1.79 cleaners. <laughs> that's, the new, uh, that's the new ticket. You heard it here first. So, so here we are. Yep. This is uh, the site of College Station build coming soon. So it's gonna look absolutely nothing like this. Nothing um, like this. We've got the corner unit though, and the people who own this actual property are redoing this entire shopping center. So it's all gonna be remodeled and looked big. It'll look same. more like the frontage will look more like this. But and just the frontage. Just got the, the garage doors going in. Yeah, we have garage doors. Let me just flip the situation around. So we have garage doors going here and this, we don't need four doors. So we're gonna keep these doors here, garage door here. This is gonna be an entire wraparound patio. Um, Where you can see all the dirt, where they have the concrete torn up. The patio is gonna wrap around this corner. And and then outdoor seating and patio down there. There will be a 10 foot garage door along this wall as well. So it'll open up I mean, this one, this 10 foot garage door being here and then this garage door being here is gonna completely open up this space. Um, and then they're redoing, they're taking out and redoing all this concrete. So we're not gonna have any of this cobble or this dated like woodwork here for the railway. This is all gonna be fresh concrete and they're gonna put in the new steel and wrought iron like what they have over there on that space. So we'll match that concrete and really down the side. Yeah. 
basically that's what's happening in a lot of college station is i mean if you have heard any like like stereotypes about college station or whatever it's that typically people say everything's outdated and it's a lot of just like strip mall situations which is honestly true and so it's an awesome town and it has a great school and uh, great people and so people have realized like okay we need to yeah. kind of come in and update a lot of these shopping centers a lot There's of these spaces and so um, our landlord at this space is awesome and he's been yeah. redoing his whole center and that was a huge reason we came in here just knowing it was going to be one of the one of the more updated spaces in college station in college station so yeah. we're excited about it um, it's going to be super it. open inside tall ceilings so exposed yeah day one we got houston coming tomorrow baby Woo! so we made it to houston we made it and we're about to uh, roll we up to the houston space the sickest spot i'm really excited about it this is my first time seeing Houston in person and all the work that like I've been doing up to this point has literally just been over the phone and emails and seeing the area and like understanding where it is and like being able to put all of it in perspective compared to where we drove in and like what is around it and what is being built by it is insane. Yeah. So cool. So this is the walk up. Our cute neighbors. Here's our little house. Isn't it so cute? It's so freaking cool. So we share this little patio situation between the both of us, so we'll make it really cute, make it fun. Like, look at the surroundings, like this pan. It's a, it's a pretty busy street, which is gonna be great for foot traffic. Obviously that makes parking a little bit trickier, but we have good neighbors, um, so we are pumped. How are you feeling? A lot better. <laughs> I technically woke up at like 4.30 or whatever it was this morning. We didn't go to bed until after 11. I woke up a couple times all night, worked out, drank 300 milligrams caffeine, then had a large coffee, and by the time the caffeine and the food was gone, we were a struggle bus. We had nothing left. So, we're at Lupe Tortilla, and, and I'm having a great experience. It is incredible. Oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It's Friday, I think. We don't even know what day it's. We haven't known what, what day it is the whole time. <laughs> but, but we just got coffee. We we're about to go by the space. Um, still in Houston. Yeah, still in Houston. We're in the Heights. You guys are familiar. That's where the new spot's going. We so. are meeting our um, GC and. Um, the someone from the landlord yeah. situation um, at the space to kind of walk through everything we need to do and what the next couple months would look like and where we're seeing certain things going. So, yay! I desperately need this. I can't even talk right now. Let's make it happen. Okay, so. Weird, back. weird day today. <laughs> when is it not? It's been a great when day. When is it not? It's yeah. been a great day. And somehow just in continually good and sometimes in the moment challenging ways, our days never look anything like what we expected them yes. to. And also, I promise I do own other clothes. I don't wear this shirt every day. And I don't always go out to with soaking wet hair, but here we are. <laughs> so, so basically, the meeting in Houston went really well this morning. Uh, yeah. The house is going to be awesome. It has its own challenges being a house, but we're excited about them and think it's going to be a great 
first stop um, in Houston. So With some good construction solutions and yeah. creative thinking for how we're going to execute that, and it makes my part of like main responsibilities interesting. Yeah. So that was great, that. and then after that, we were trying to go get lunch because we hadn't eaten anything yet. And we were starving, oh <laughs> and we were trying to find somewhere to go, and it was just a mess. We were. We're like continually learning, like we've always said and we knew, Houston is like 30 different cities in one. It is wild. There is no consistency to this city. So anyways, we were waiting and we found, uh, what's it called? Common Bond. Common Bond. Bond. Um, I definitely called heard it Common amazing, Yeah, we heard amazing <laughs> things uh, about it and would love to try it one day. But we literally stood in line for so long outside of the space thinking, you know, it would move and it would be fine. The line literally never even didn't moved. move. And as I'm in line, I get a notification from where the Airbnb that we were staying in that she, I get a message and she was like, hey, just want to let you know, like, checkout was 11.30. It was, or 11, and it was like 11.24. And I you know, do you need to stay another night or like do you need us to put your stuff in storage? And in my mind, I had booked this Airbnb for two nights, not one night. So I was like, oh <laughs> We my rolled gosh. out for our morning meeting, clothes, still there. Thinking we weren't gonna come back like, until like way later. So that was We were just like fully moved in. So still. luckily we were close to Airbnb and I was like, I am so sorry we're coming back right now. Like do you have another unit available? And it all worked out. Lunch. It all worked out. Yeah, we never tried common bond. Don't think we would have stuck around in that line anyways. It was but a aggressive. Uh, all to say we're in a new Airbnb and I will double check the dates next time. Um, and then we kind of worked the rest of the afternoon, um, very productive, and then we both worked out. I went to a spin class here, it was awesome. Cody went to a gym and went home, showered clearly, and now we are at and I've never been before, so I also am going to keep the series rolling with Cody's live Let's wine try reactions. The wine. So, Carrie, I, I tagged you in my story. You already know that I did the appropriate steps, so we're going to you know, try this out. The commentary is the best part. <laughs> Damn. I don't even really know what specifically to describe. <laughs> that is, is it good? good. So the wine you tried, we just got like a half glass because we both wanted to try it. Yeah, it's this place is cool. It lets you like. Quilt, and it's a oh, cab oh. and a merlot. <laughs> oh, it has like a okay, like an aftertaste. It. it like hits the back of your throat after the fact. It's really smooth, and there's like good flavor at the end. It like comes in oh, later. That's so good. Like, just give it, it, like, there's like another flavor that comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I am a big fan of that. Big fan. Quilt. Yeah, we'll be from, taking a picture of that and Well, and of, that of course, like, well, I decided that I was picking wines off the menu based on what cities I thought sounded cool. So, uh, <laughs> this one is actually one of the only offerings on the menu that came from Napa. Most of them are actually from all other places, but... There we go. We're going to Napa. So, cheers. <laughs> Check your Airbnb dates. <laughs> All right. Welcome to a new day, question mark? I don't think we've filmed anything today. No, we haven't. Um, we've kind of been behind, been slacking a little bit today, but that's okay. Uh, we have gone from Houston to Fort Worth and we got to see everybody at that store, get some new shirts dropped off, reorganize the merch a little bit, spend some time with them, see the new employees. And now we went to Dallas to experience Total Wine. Total Wine. Uh, Carrie and Doug had like a Christmas wish list of 26 different things that they can't get in Fayetteville. And we are Santa. And we are Santa. Yes, exactly. So, done with that. Got some Chick-fil-A. I have fries too. And we 
are on the road to Fayetteville. It's been a hell of a weekend. It's been a hell of a weekend. How did you see? Okay, this, this clip needs to end. See y'all soon.